Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Uh, my name is Hiroshi Fuji, Deputy Director General of JETRO London. Uh, thank you all for joining tonight. Uh, I'm delighted to announce this year's Sir Peter Parker Hours, the 29th hours since it began in 1990. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to invite Professor Andrew Gastel, the Professor of Japanese Studies, to say a few words on behalf of the organizers. Uh, Professor Gastel, please. Um, welcome to SOAS and the Sir Peter Parker Awards for Spoken Business Japanese. My name is Andrew Gerstel. I'm Professor of Japanese Studies here at SOAS and representing Valerie Amos, the SOAS director who could not join us tonight. I want to thank our many sponsors and Mrs. Mrs. Yoshi Yoshiko Jones in particular, who's worked for many years organizing this event. I'm only a pale shadow of our director, but at least I can offer greetings in Japanese. Nihon Boeki Shinko Kiko no Fujino sama. Nihon Shoko Kaigi Sho no Hanoko Samo Hajime. Sir Peter Parker Business Nihongo Speech Contest no sponsor no Minasama. Shutu Jo Sha no Minasama. そして、その他ご来場の皆様ようこそいらっしゃいました。そうです。学長のアモスバレリーに代わり、ご挨拶に参りました。日本学科主任アンドリュー・ガストロです。日本の会社がこの大事な年中行事を応援してくださっていることに
-hmm. Now let me hand over to Mr. Fujino of Jetro, who will lead us through this ceremony. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Gasto. Um, now to represent as co-organizer, we have Mr. Takumi Fujino, uh, Director General of Jetro London. Uh, Mr. Fujino, can we have a few remarks, please? Since this is the Japanese speech contest, so I started from Japanese, but then, of course, don't worry about it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to the awards ceremony for the Sir Peter Parker Award for Spoken Business Japanese today. This contest has been running since 1990, initiated by the late Sir Peter Parker. Against the backdrop of a deepening business relationship between the UK, Europe, and Japan, there was a growing desire among European business people to develop their skills in spoken business Japanese. It is still uncertain that where Brexit is going, and there is a feeling of that influence of Brexit will not be small for Japan. But I personally think because of the situation we are now, it is necessary to promote mutual relationships, which is also a spirit of SPPA. This year, we celebrate the 29th Sapphira Parker Awards, and we find that 30th anniversary of the awards upon us in 2020. An amazing milestone and one that shows how the relationship between our countries continues to grow. We were fortunate to receive dedicated support from the judging panel, headed by Mr. Hanaoka from Japan Chamber of Commerce in and Industry in UK. Also present, well, representative from those companies that are sponsoring today's contest. Special thank must, of course, go to the co-organizer of the event, SOAS, for their continued cooperation and friendship. Without partners such as these, these awards would not have been the success that they have been. We celebrated 20 applicants for this year's contest, which were two more than last year, and the top eight among them spoke here today. We found that their Japanese ability was very, very high, even during the first interview. Also, this year's applicants are not only in the UK, but also from Poland, Hungary, and Romania. It was a great pleasure to listen to their excellent speeches, and I know that the panel must have had a very tough time judging them. Whichever field or profession, I believe that improving your Japanese skills can contribute to your future careers and that these individuals' efforts will further strengthen the relations between the UK and Japan. We are sure that this event will motivate you in your Japanese and English studies, as well as result in communication improvement in the workplace. Finally, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone here for your great contribution. Thank you for your gathering today, and I hope to see you at the reception right after this hour's ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Fujino. Um, I would now like to introduce the sponsors and supporters of today's hours in alphabetical order. Uh, may I ask each representative to stand up when your name is called? Access Appointments Consultancy Limited, uh, represented by Ms. Junko Hashimoto. A concept. Uh, represented by Ms. Keiko Tashiro. Uh, Brunswick Group, uh, represented by Mr. Matthew Brown. Japan Airline Company Limited, uh, represented by Mr. Yoshinori Togita. Japanese Chamber of, of Commerce and Industries in the UK, or JCCI UK, represented by Mr. Takaaki Hanaoka. 
Japan Center Group Limited. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no one could uh, attend this evening. And then uh, JPT uh, Europe Limited or JP Books, uh, represented by Ms. Yayoi Nishitaka. <laughs> Minamoto Kichouan. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no one could attend uh, this evening. Uh, Mitsubishi Electric Europe PV, uh, represented by Mr. Hans uh, Jörg Hinkel. <laughs> Nikkei Europe Limited, uh, represented by Mr. Wataru Suzuki. <laughs> NHK Cosmo Media Europe, uh, unfortunately, no one could attend this evening. Uh, Rico UK Limited, uh, represented by Mr. Atsushi Wada. Uh, Sake Samurai, represented by Ms. Rie Yoshitake. So uh, she seems to be not here right now. Uh, the Great Britain Sasaka Foundation, represented by Mr. Brendan Griggs. The Japan Society, Presented by Miss Heidi Potter. Well, she seems not to be here right now. Uh, Toshiba of Europe Limited, uh, represented by Mr. Wat uh, Masakazu Watanabe. <laughs> Embassy of Japan in the UK, represented by Mr. Hiroshi Itakura, Councillor. Uh, Department for International Trade, or DIT. Uh, represented by Mr. Tim Hardings. Um, I would now like to ask uh, today's chief judge, Mr. Takaoka Hana, Takaaki Hanaoka, to comment on today's contest. Mr. Hanaoka, please. Konnichiwa. <laughs> I'm Takaki Hanaoka, Japanese Chamber of Commerce. I think if I'm called, I think you expect that I will tell you who, who won this uh, speech contest, but uh, I won't tell you that. Uh, I'm not allowed to tell that uh, today. Uh, we had uh, six judges today, and actually the uh, chief check was supposed to be the uh, uh, Minister Ida of the uh, uh, Embassy of Japan, but uh, he's sick today. So I'm, uh, on behalf of him, I'm uh, uh, dealing with the uh, chief judge. Uh, we had a very uh, fantastic uh, speech, uh, eight speeches today. And first of all, I want to say that uh, Miss Parnaby, I think that was unfair for her uh, <laughs> to have to come here uh, by notice last evening. Uh, so uh, we have considered the point. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think the criteria we uh, uh, evaluate the speech in three uh, areas. One is the uh, content and presentation. And the second is uh, language skills. And the third one is uh, Q&A, how you responded. And uh, for the, uh, the content of the speeches, I noticed uh, several good topics. Obviously, one is a Brexit, which uh, I'm facing every day. <laughs> um, second one is the uh, environment, quite interesting topic. Um, um, why generation, Z generation, which I didn't know, actually. <laughs> so I learned it. Thank you very much. Uh, also, the 30 years experience of the um, uh, you know, Japan and the UK relationship was quite impressive. Uh, for the um, uh, language skills, I think uh, everybody is uh, Japanese, very high standard. Uh, so although we have to evaluate somehow, but I think the difference is quite small. Actually. But uh, uh, we have reached the, uh, um, you know, the conclusion. Um, we had only 30 minutes, so... Uh, um, uh, and also it was quite close. But again, I can't say now, so you have to wait a few minutes more. Um, yeah, so that's it, basically, uh, those are the, my comments, and uh, um, uh, hopefully the result will be announced soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Hanaoka. Um, before announcing the winners, uh, let me introduce our remarkable finalists. 
uh, please stand up when your name is called. Uh, let's welcome with a great applause uh, Mr. Joshua uh, Gallagher. Miss Hana Istam. <laughs> Mr. Glenn Cambry. <laughs> Miss Justina Bukta. Uh, Miss Susan Cooper. Miss Melissa Parnaby. Uh, Mr. Robert Massine. Mr. Graham Lawrence. Thank you. Uh, now we'd like to begin with the third prize. Uh, this year's third place winner will receive the following prizes. A certificate present by Professor Gastol, a iPad and accessories donated by JCSA UK, presented by Mr. Hanaoka, uh, Japanese sweets donated by uh, Minamoto Kichoan, presented by uh, Mr. Fujino, uh, Zoom Japan one-year subscription donated by A Concept, presented by Mr. Fujino, And now the third place uh, prize winner is Mr. Robert Massine. Moving on to the second place prize winner, this year, um, this year the winner will receive a certificate presented by uh, Professor Gastol, a laptop computer donated by Toshiba, presented by Mr. Watanabe, Japanese suites donated by Minamoto Kichuan, presented by Mr. Fujino, Zoom Japan one year subscription donated by A Concept, presented by Mr. Fujino. The second place prize winner is Miss Justina Bukta.
Before announcing the first place prize winner, we would like to give a special prize to another finalist who has impressed the judge. Um, these prizes are a certificate uh, presented by Professor Gasto, a digital camera donated by Rico, presented by Mr. Wada, a Japanese suites donated by Minamoto Kichouan, presented by Mr. Fujino, Zoom Japan One Year Subscription donated by A Concept, presented by Mr. Fujino, Domo Kun donated by NHK, presented by Mr. Fujino. And the uh, special prize goes to uh, Miss Melissa Barnaby. And finally, the moment has come to announce the 29th Sir Peter Parker Hours winner. This year, the winner will receive the following fabulous prizes. <laughs> a certificate uh, presented by uh, Professor Gasto, a premium economy class return air ticket to Japan, donated by Japan Airlines, presented by Mr. Togita, Mr. Tokita, could you please come to the stage? Yes. Uh, 1,500 pounds donated by Mitsubishi Electric, presented by Mr. Hinkel. Japan Rail Pass donated by Japan Center Group, presented by Mr. Fujino. Zoom Japan One Year Subscription donated by A Concept, presented by Mr. Fujino and the winner's cup will be handed by Mr. Fujino. <laughs> the 29th uh, third Peter Parker Hours winner is Mr. Graham Lawrence. Congratulations. <laughs> So, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Graham, uh, and uh, Mr. Graham, would you like to say a few words, please? Thirty years ago, I was a small Nikkei company. No, I'm not going to. I won't take it. <laughs> and that's all I've practiced. So, uh, uh, yeah, you've caught me on the spot. But uh, actually, I really, really worked hard for this. Um, and uh, maybe this is helpful for people in the future, but uh, I treated this like, um, I know I mentioned that I did karate at one stage. This was like taking a, 
you know, a black belt grading. So I made sure that I practiced, uh, you know, 10, 15 times every day the whole speech um, for a, you know, a few weeks before the event. And I, I, be, I really treated it like a, you know, a very serious uh, event. So I'm very, very pleased to have uh, been successful this year. Um, if I hadn't have won this year, I know I wouldn't have uh, taken part again because I think one is enough for me. But <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pleased to be able to say that after all these years being involved with uh, Japanese and Japanese companies that I've been able to leave something behind like this. Um, so um, from going forward, I'll hand over to the young people next year, I think. Thank you very much. <laughs> あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Mr. Masakazu Watanabe, Toshiba of Europe Limited. Uh, interlocutors, uh, Mr. Setsuo Kato, Kato Media, journalist. Mrs. Keiko Cummings, Japanese UK Limited. And the timekeeper was Mr. Tomoya Yamaguchi. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's not here. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I would now like to conclude this year's Sir, T uh, Sir Peter Parker Hours ceremony. Thank you all very much for your attendance. And once again, uh, congratulations to the winner.